hello, I'm Walk, and I'm embarrassed. I am late to, uh, writing and recording these Wednesday words for the last week in March. I was on vacation last week. I had a fantasy of sneaking off from my family and recording and uploading Wednesday words, but of course I didn't. And this week we are preparing for Holy Week. It's a good week here at First Presbyterian, but I'm going to record a few thoughts right now on Friday morning before Grief Share and upload them quickly. For our devotions in Lent, we've been looking at the book Lent in Plain Sight by Jill Duffield. And uh, we've, a group of us have been studying it. And she takes different ordinary objects and shares Bible stories and asks us to think about ways that our spirituality and our relationship with God is both influenced by and maybe even reflected in ordinary objects. This week, the ordinary object we're looking at is shoes. Uh, and uh, I want to take two Bible stories that focus on shoes and talk about them briefly for our devotional. One is the story of Moses and the burning bush. I believe it's Exodus um, 3. Moses has grown up in the royal household in Egypt, but he has seen a kinsman, a fellow Hebrew, being mistreated, and he killed an Egyptian. He fled to the wilderness and married into a clan out in the wilderness and was tending the flock of his father-in-law far away from any place he had known God. And God spoke through a bush that burned but was not consumed. And God said, Moses, take off your shoes. You're standing on holy ground. So we talked about holy ground in surprising places. Somebody in the Bible study mentioned that all nature is God's creation and is holy. And we talked about other places that are holy. We certainly know that the sanctuary here at First Presbyterian is holy ground. We're working hard to get back there in worship. Um, your uh, session and church leaders, we know that's holy ground. And we're going to have announcements about that um, later this spring. There's other holy ground, perhaps a, a, a place in the mountains, a place in Scotland, or some other place that is holy. Very ordinary places can become holy. The family dinner table. Other places where we houses where we raise our families and other places, the place where someone met the true love of their life, or a, a church camp, maybe where someone um, met Jesus, committed their life to him, or had their first kiss, or met their spouse. A church camp can be holy ground. There are a lot of places like that. And I, I ask you to maybe even pause the recording and think about places that are holy ground. We also talked about the story in Matthew when John the Baptist is confronted by Pharisees who, who say, well, well if, you're, if you're not Elijah or a prophet or the Messiah, who are you? And John the Baptist says, oh, someone's coming. He even alludes that the one is there in the crowd, and, and maybe Jesus is standing in the midst of them. He says, one's coming, and I'm not even worthy to untie the thong of his sandal. I'm not worthy to, to shine his shoes or, or to tie his shoes. I'm, I'm just a messenger. But Jesus is coming. And John the Baptist is humble. Sometimes we don't think of that fiery preacher as one who is humble. But in this story, he was. He recognized his role. And he recognized that Jesus is the one to be worshipped and, and beloved. And he's, he's coming. He's coming. But um, John the Baptist isn't. And I, I like that. I like that idea of... Uh, humility 
and I, I uh, strive for that. We made the appropriate jokes on the Zoom uh, Bible study about how it's hard to be humble sometimes, and I certainly fall into that. But I, I try and to recognize that um, Jesus is the one to be worshipped, and uh, anything that we do uh, as human beings is so inferior and we need to see Jesus as who he is. And it seems very appropriate this Holy Week. On Sunday, March 28th, we'll worship at 10 o'clock in the tent here at church. And I want you to be here after that. We'll have fellowship and it'll be so good to see each other. You can bring your car and be on the, hear the low power FM. We'll be uh, back in the tent on Thursday, Monday, Thursday, when we remember Jesus' Last Supper. And I'll be preaching and be talking about Jesus and his humility again, washing the disciples' feet. There's a, another um, shoe, a foot example, um, Bible story. And then on Easter Sunday, we'll worship again under the tent. On Good Friday, we don't have a formal worship service. There'll be one uploaded to the YouTube. We'll have um, a, a YouTube worship service. And we'll be in that holy ground that is the sanctuary for um, prayer, reflection, meditation from 12 to 3 on Good Friday. So um, I think we publicized that well. I'm sure you've seen that and know these upcoming events. And um, so as I close, just, just think about ordinary objects like shoes. Uh, take off your shoes. You're standing on holy ground. And in the presence of Jesus, um, gosh, we're not uh, fit to, to tie his shoes. What a loving, wonderful uh, Savior he is. I promise to be on time next week for my Holy Week Wednesday Words.